Hey Globots, today we are conquering Enki. Okay, let's talk about Anki for a spell. Anki is really all about two things. The SRS algorithm, which reminds you when to study things right before you forget them, and the customizability of Anki. It's a great tool to build for any language learner because it's basically like building a second home for everything you've ever studied, like all your knowledge, kind of like a notebook, except it automatically reminds you about what to study right before you would forget it. You can use all sorts of plugins to make the process easier, to make cards faster, because that's often the complaint about Enki. It's actually pretty easy once you set it up but like i said it's a very customizable thing it's more like an investment into creating like a second brain for yourself when it comes to language studies why that's so important is because it's much more vital for you to study and build upon the connections and experiences words that you encounter personally than it is to rote try to memorize vocabulary or whatever from a textbook or from like a course which is the problem with things like duolingo or memorize Let's start from the beginning and grab the download. Anki is available for literally every platform, but what we're working with is the free desktop app. For Apple users, you have to pay a lifetime fee to get it on your phone or iPad, and it's like a whole nother thing. So for this tutorial's purposes, I'm working on a Mac and downloading for Apple chip. Your Anki will look something like this in the beginning, depending on if your computer's in light mode or dark mode. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to add a heat map. Um, to do that, you're going to follow to this web page. The web page and the links for everything is in the description and the first comment. You just go to your app, click Tools, Add-ons, then Get Add-ons and then paste in the code on the web page I shared with you. Just note that you will have to reset and also start using your cards to input some data for the heat map to pop up. Okay, so to change your background, we're gonna need another plugin and you're gonna go to this page. Um, again, it's available down below. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm doing a matcha vibe. This plugin allows you to replace the background with a photo or a color of your choice. You can also change the top and bottom bar colors too. Add in the plugin just like the last one, click tools, then go to add-ons, then get add-ons and paste in the code. Then close Anki and open it up again. In the top bar, you're gonna see the Anking settings up here. Then you'll click on the custom gear and the background part. So now we can look at the customization settings. At the top, you have the ability to manipulate the background and the gear icon. You can choose a photo, something inside this particular folder, or like I'm going to do for this tutorial, you can delete what's here altogether to make it blank, and then manipulate the colors instead. Your next step will be to choose what colors you want and paste in their hex codes. The colors I use for this tutorial will be down below and also in the written guide. And then that's it for the basics. Your Anki is now beautiful. Yeah! <laughs> you may just want to play around with the design a bit and see how it looks like from different scenes, like from your editing space or like from where you're using your cards, etc. Just to make sure that you can see all of the text, you can play around with your design. If you decide to use this tutorial to spice up your Anki, please do tag us, whether on Instagram or Twitter. I would love to see all your beautiful Anki setups and designs. And this is just the beginning of all the things you can do to customize Anki for language learners and make things easier, as you saw in the beginning. So I am actually developing a course and if if you want your questions answered, if you have some like idea of something that you really don't get and you would like me to cover, please leave it in the comment section down below. Anyway, I'd love to see your designs and happy studying guys! Thank you!